Good evening everyone, hope you're all well. So I thought I'd change up the scenery a little bit. You might hear a little bit of tapping or, or walking at the moment and that's just my beautiful fur baby Hero. So he's a 12 month old Japanese Spitz. Hello Hero. So I have been collecting in this bag here all these product empties and I'm not sure how I went through all of these. But it's getting a little bit out of control and I thought, you know, why not do an empties video for you guys? After a long day at work, I thought, you know, shower, put on a mask and feeling great. I also used the Claire's uh, Midnight Blue Calming Cream. And so I'm not sure, how, do you guys feel like it's helped with my redness at all? So this is like my face. Uh, no makeup, you guys have probably seen before in my videos, so I thought, you know, why not do an all natural product empties video just because we can. So I'll quickly go through because there's so many products in here. I might have to split it between makeup decluttering and also bathroom and product empties. I'll see how I'm going, but it's just gotten a little bit out of control. So I thought, you know, why not do a video? See in my background, I've got all these Polaroids of when we traveled in Europe so um, yeah so if you're wondering what's happening in the background that's what it is so all right without further ado uh, let's move into our product empties and you'll see my first one here dead giveaway is the CeraVe CeraVe uh, moisturizing cream it this one says for dry to very dry skin but I've got oily combination sensitive skin and this works perfectly for me like I'll use it on my hands and I'll use it on my body and I'll use it on my face this is a great all-rounder and great for travels. So it's got three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which pretty much means that it is jam-packed with hydration. And I absolutely love this. Um, as it says here, moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier of the face and the body. And it's fragrance-free, which you know I love. So I'm sold with anything fragrance-free. Before I go into uh, more of the products, I wanted to tell you guys about an app that I've used quite a bit and it's called when I say it you guys are gonna be like oh is this appropriate but it's nothing dirty it's called think dirty that's the app and what you do is you scan the barcode of your product and it tells you if they have it on record um, how clean a certain product is so I'll show you guys it's like this right and then I can go here scan product and all it does is it scans it here and then it tells me, okay, this product is not found. So I can actually go through, take photos of it and submit it so that the more people that submits, they've got more information and then they can find out, you know, uh, what are the harmful ingredients in there or why it's listed as either a zero, which means that they've got no nasties in it or a, I think 10 the worst or something. Here I've got an overall uh, rating of three and then it kind of lists it's got the history of what you've scanned, what you've viewed, and um, also it's got in here, uh, you can add products, and I've also got lists of my bathroom shelf. So you can see all of these here. Um, oh, sorry, Hero. Um, so you can see here the Biosense Squalane oil. So it tells you, okay, yep, if it's in the green, that's usually a good thing. And then if it's high on the not so clean list, so five is usually good. And then it tells you it's got a category of the dirty, the dirty products. Um, so unfortunately you'll see that the CeraVe moisturizing lotion is on there. And the reason why it is, is because it's got the propyl paraben in there. And then you click into it and then it tells you, okay, it's also known as, you know, and all the different property names. Usage propyl paraben is used as a preservative and fragrance ingredient. And then health impacts is endocrine disruptor, allergies. Some studies of breast tumors show a buildup of methyl parabens in the breast tissue, possible endocrine disruptor, low concerns if use under concentration restricted. It gives you like a rough idea on, you know, what's clean, it gives you a half and half and then what's dirty. So if you guys are interested in that, then it's a good app to download because it's free as well. And obviously not everything is gonna be perfect and clean, but you just kind of eye it. You either, um, if you're gonna have preservatives in, in there, then that obviously makes your product last a little bit longer. And you'd be surprised, some of 
the um, brands that claim to be clean aren't actually that clean. So I just thought I'd quickly show you guys that. All right, this is gonna be another really long video. I might have to just split it, guys. Okay, let's get cracking. The next thing is my shampoo that I finished. This is the Wild PPC Herbs. I picked this up at Mr. Vitamins because I had finished my natural alternative, uh, which is one of the brands that no longer exists anymore. So I think they wrapped up, but the lady that worked at Mr. Vitamins recommended this one. So this is the volumizer. It says it's for fine hair, but you know, anyone can really use it. So it's just got, it just smells incredible. And my sister used it and thought it was a little bit drying. Oh, you can see Hero again. Um, hi Hero. But for me, I really enjoyed it. Like um, I'm still using the conditioner and once I finish that, I might repurchase it. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. It's free from animal products or testing, free from artificial colors, perfumes, and sodium laurel sulfate and all these other items in here. It says here, the herbal extracts will help nourish and strengthen fine and damaged hair. Nettle is rich in chlorophyll, silica, and sulfur nutrients and moisture hair and promote healthy growth. So I really, really love this one. Oh, the hero's come up to join us. Are you gonna come up here? Hmm? So these two. And then the third one here is this Glow Lab Micellar Water. I probably would not be purchasing this again. So for me, every time I used it a little bit, it kind of, it didn't sting, but I just didn't like the scent of it. It's, it says it's dermatologically tested, pH balanced, alcohol free, antioxidant rich, but one of the, they've got plant-based humectants, surfactants, uh, and all these different um, plant-based items, but it's still got fragrance in there. So unfortunately I won't be purchasing this again, but I have used a few of their other products and I didn't mind them. Um, the next one is a brand that I've been using for ages and this is the Swiss Olive Leaf Deep Cleansing Gel with Glycolic and Salicylic Acid. They've undergone some uh, repackaging, let's just say, and this is one that I always go back to. It's just like a nice staple for you to take to the gym or just have in your shower or in your bathroom because it's just really easy to use. Their Sweet Almond, uh, what is it? Sweet Almond Cream Cleanser is also really good. So if you've got oily combination skin or you can even use this on dry skin, I don't mind this at all. It's got the glycolic and salicylic acid, which would be great if you're someone that's prone to um, acne or the occasional pimple, this will also sort you out. Sorry, I'm running at like a million miles per hour. Um, the next one is the Mecca Cosmetica Micellar Water with corn flour and damask rose extracts. Again, unfortunately, this one had a slight fragrance to it. When I tested it in stores on my hands, you know when you like swatch things and especially the ones that are like waterproof eyeliners, um, I'd used this in store and really enjoyed it. But when I funnily enough purchased it, it did work to cleanse you know, my face uh, and any makeup. But in terms of stubborn eye makeup, it didn't actually get everything. So not sure if I'll be purchasing this again, but it's great to use, I guess, as an overall light makeup remover. The next one is Willowda Purifying Gel Cleanser, Deep Pore Cleansing Blemish Skin. So this contains willow bark, and the only thing that I wish it didn't contain was fragrance. Although there, it, it Although it says it's fragrance from natural essential oils, I actually, it smells like to me a citrus mojito. It just smells like a lime mojito, which I don't mind and it's refreshing, but I actually would have liked if they didn't actually put in the essential oil fragrance in there. Like it was just fine being the natural willow bark. Um, <laughs> Here I just jumped up on the couch guys. So, oh. uh, so yeah, um, this one again, um, it's a new product line of theirs that they recently launched and I like that they're doing a cleansing gel but yeah again the only thing that got me was the fragrance. And then the next thing is the Innisfree Jeju Lava Seawater Skin. I don't know what the EX stands for but it's a rich mineral and moisture Jeju Lava Seawater. Um, I would say that it's probably an essence. So this really hydrates your skin and I don't know, there's something in this water, but it really actually nourishes and just makes your skin quite clear. So I really enjoyed this. And what I love about Innisfree, this is probably my favorite line of theirs. Everything else is too highly fragranced and unfortunately um, my skin 
is more suited towards this line and even their fragrance is a lot like lighter this is like a more kind of natural scent that my skin sort of accepts so I was saying what I like about Innisfree is that you can return and recycle uh, full size products and then they you also get like X amount of points that you collect and I always love coming back to this brand and can't wait to try even more of their products okay what else is in here the next thing is a touch of the silk peony um, eye cream and look at how beautiful that is i just absolutely love the packaging it's quite a rich buttery clean cream that just melts into your skin quite expensive though i have to say for an eye cream but it does last ages and eye creams i go through quite quickly because i share this with my hubby with ben um, and I was saying here before, this is one of the first bottles that I finished. It's a Tata Half Bar Resurfacing Mask for Instant Glow. So every time uh, when my skin is a little bit troubled or, you know, I can feel some dead skin cells, I always uh, gravitate towards this mask. It's just amazing. And also if I get a blemish here or there, then I also uh, enjoy using this one. And you pop it on for 10 minutes, rinse it, and then you've got like an amazing glow afterwards. The next item is a fresh soy face cleaner and sorry face cleaner the fresh soy face cleanser and this is a little mini size that I got along with their black tea so this one says that you can gently cleanse um, on your eyes and your face and it's a really nice light cleanser that kind of foams up into it doesn't foam actually it goes into like from a gel into a little creamy milky lather and it smells exactly like roses and cucumbers and it's quite a nice one that I enjoy and especially this little travel size is great for if you're going away on holidays or just for a weekend getaway so guys sorry I've had to change the scene the scenery and move upstairs because it just got a little bit too distracting downstairs and I just thought, you know what, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the rest of uh, my products. So I thought I'd just move everything upstairs, move the party up here. So I hope that, uh, and hope that's okay. It didn't interrupt the next viewing too much, but I thought I'd talk about the next product and this is another favorite of, of mine. It's this is the Hamish Hydrogel Eye Patch Bulgarian Rose Border, and it's super, super beautiful. It's like a little beautiful shimmery pink gel patch that just smells like a garden of roses. And this is a really good one, super affordable as well. Uh, you can pick this this up at a lot of the boutique stores in around Sydney. So definitely love this, or even Yes Style as well. So. The next item is something bought in Japan and finished super quickly. This is the Kurel Intensive Moisture Cream and it's super light. It's like whipped cream, buttery souffle uh, texture, fragrance free, super hydrating and oh, what more can I say? I just love this and I actually stocked up on this um, in, I've made two Yemen Yes Style orders and I've stocked up on this so I'll probably end up talking more about this cream later on so I'll just quickly whiz through that I have no idea why this is in here I think because I usually get like the massive tubs of the Colgate um, plaques fresh mint uh, what you would call it mouthwash and this is just great for travel if you know you're going away for a weekend then you just top this up so that's probably the reason why I kept that and then the next item is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. My gosh, guys, this is like marmalade when you use it. It smells like, yep, it smells like apricot marmalade and it is definitely glowy. It's definitely, it definitely makes you glow after you use it, but it's one of those products that it goes on like marmalade, like a gel, and then once it kind of like sits there for like 10 15 minutes it then dries up and it just sucks your skin like this so this you can see the little bits of the fruit uh stuck in the mask on your skin and when you wash it off it takes a million years to wash it off sorry i'm being dramatic but it takes a while for you to wash it off and really get those little pieces of fruit off your face and yeah so i have to say this mask works but it makes you work for it if that makes sense when you rinse it off uh, but it is a good mask. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yep. 
The next range is the Biosense range. So, ooh, so what is decent? Lise had bought me the little uh, tester pack uh, one time. She, it actually came in with this bag. So I feel like Lise, you, if you're watching this, I feel like you sponsor all my videos. So thank you in advance. You are such a generous, beautiful being, honestly. And back to this range, as I was saying to you, I love that this range, um, again, vegan, the packaging and everything is very sustainable as well on point in terms of sustainability and you can tell even by the packaging it's green and and lush so i was going to say there are pros and cons so when i first trialed the pack the first time i bought the first time i received the kit i absolutely loved it and then when i went to purchase the travel kit it came with a few more other items so i have to say one thing that I absolutely love from the range is the Squalane Plus Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is the little travel size and this is a super, super mini travel size as well. And these two I love. It literally had transformed my skin and I felt like it was absolutely glowing and feeling very radiant. The only other thing, the only thing that I have to say in the travel kit range that I bought from Sephora is that Oh, I really did not like the scent of the Squalane and Omega Repair Cream. It got to the point where unfortunately I had to use up this product, even though luckily it was a little travel size bottle. I had to use it on my body. Scent was nourishing, but unfortunately I was not a fan of the scent. It just smelled... I just was not a fan of the scent. So the next one is a Squalane Plus Pro Biotic Gel Moisturizer. This I actually quite liked. It was like a nice, thin, light texture and really easy to apply, really easy to absorb. Uh, this would be great in the summer, I actually think. And if you're looking for skincare that consists of probiotic, then this is the one to go to. Next up is the Ordinary's 100% Cold Press Virgin Marula Oil. I love using Marula Oil uh, for skin on my face and also for my hair. So this is something that um, you can use on your hair where you can work through damp, uh, clean hair. Or you can also use it on your face and it's actually great for those with oily skin as well. And this really does clear your skin up. Um, like this, It's also a dupe to your marula oil from Drunk Elephant. It's a lot cheaper and it's super affordable and that's why I would highly recommend this one. Having tried both Drunk Elephant and The Ordinary, you don't need to pay a lot for the same product. The next item is the Quarterly Soothing Glowing Complexion Beauty Elixir. What sold it to me was certainly the packaging. So I have to say, this is something that's really beautiful and I was immediately drawn to it. Like, who wouldn't love a bottle like that? And I have to say, it did really leave me glowing. Like, I feel like this whole empties product is for if you're someone who wants more radiance and more glow to your skin um, and complexion. And the next thing is, I don't even know why this is in my empties because I bought this in Canada. So it's a beautiful natural wellness store called Sage. This is the Rose Hydrating Euphoric Mist. And the reason why I went to Canada like a year or two ago, probably at least two years ago. And the reason why I've kept this is because I have purchased other rose mists and just filled this up because there's something about this pump, it just distributes, when you spray it, it just distributes so evenly and perfectly that I can't let go of this bottle. So it's also, I guess, more sustainable as well. If you want to purchase in like um, a bigger pack, the facial mist and then fill up your bottle, then that's a great way to do it. And then the next thing, this is quite heavy duty. This is from my mum, the La Prairie, um Cellular Cream in platinum rare so they do crazy luxurious uh, products my mom's been using the range for years but what she had done and this is like this will actually shock you guys so it's quite a heavy bottle right 
but then when you look inside it's only just this little tiny area it's kind of like a half an egg um, it's like a little domey area and you can only fit maybe that much in there so it's that deep in there so this is all in the packaging and obviously the, the product um, but what my mum had done was she had quite a few of these at home and so what she did was melt her own shea butter concoction and she made me some skincare uh, products so I was like oh that's such a great idea so if you've got if you've paid a lot for a skincare item and you don't want this item to go to waste if you don't want to recycle it yet or you just can't part with it because you'd spent so much money on it then what you can do is just fill it up with other products and just have it at your desk and that might even lift your mood uh, or make your day by just seeing it and being like yep I remember the time when I decided to splurge um, on myself and um, yeah but I have to say um, I've used a few of their products courtesy of my mum she's been so kind to give me some and um, yeah their products are lovely but I personally wouldn't purchase them myself because uh, you know everyone's skin types different and um, their skin needs are different uh, the next item is the go to face hero and this has so many oh, it's, so this it says it's for all ages and skin types uh, it deeply hydrates revitalizes and soothes and it's meant to help with dullness and uneven skin tone so when I first started using this I really enjoyed it but then for some reason my skin kind of got used to it and I'm not sure why um, I bought like their little travel pack and I think as a travel set it's great but then their oils I think what was it the the little lip balm oil which you can use on your hands it's a multi-purpose oil was so fragrant that I could kind of taste the jasmine flavor in my mouth and sometimes if something's too fragrant then I get a slight headache but um, some of their products were great some were okay but if I was to repurchase this, if you were to ask me if I would repurchase this, maybe a no for now, but not to say that I'm not going to repurchase it in the future. So that's why it's good to try little, little travel packs to see whether or not your skin likes it or if you like it. All right, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. And the rest of these items, I've still got a few items here. I'm gonna do as a separate video and kind of title it more so um, to a makeup declutter theme. Empty. I'm just worried that my video is gonna be like 30 minutes long and I know you guys are probably wanting short and punchy videos. So yeah, here's my empties videos for now and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.